Hello, I'd like to talk about model making. And model making is really an exciting endeavor because it lets you do a lot of interesting things. And one of the things I like about model making is it lets me design in real time and see something evolve in front of me. And in addition, I get that, to that immediate feedback I get by building things. I can also show it to other people and work with other people. So we're looking at the same thing as we build it. So it's a vehicle for communicating ideas also. Now model making in the era of additive manufacturing maybe seems a bit unique and uh, additive manufacturing does wonderful things. You take a parametric model or a surface model and you can print it out and get your uh, object uh, just the way you drew it. And there's a real advantage to that. Uh, what I'm looking at is that sort of the front end to that. What do you know what to draw? What do you know what to put in? Now there's many elements of model making including hobby aspects too, where it's the process of building the model that's what you're pursuing. But there's a lot of other, other elements as well. And it starts with the fact that we're, we're human and we like to build things. We enjoy the process of constructing things with our own hands and seeing something we have in our mind come out as a physical product. Uh, and that's different than the virtual world. Uh, you can spend a lot of time, lots of time, drawing solid models. and. Uh, you may or may not be satisfied with the result, but in some ways you don't get the full effect until you print it out. Uh, even now with uh, so much uh, 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 the rendering tools that are available, you can make something that's very simple, like a, like a paperclip, look gorgeous uh, with certain rendering tools. It's not that hard to do. But to actually make a form that is intriguing and then to finish that form in, <clears throat> in a real way is, is really exciting. And uh, Again, it's motivated for me in large part that I like to uh, design as I create, design as I build. Uh, they're, they're intermingled. Uh, the mistakes I make as I build things are part of my thinking process, and I don't want to get too far into that because that's not terribly interesting, but I get that immediate feedback. And again, I can share it with other people too. But um, we can also, with models, get this immediate sense of the look and feel of an object, how it works. We can deal with complex mechanical things. Uh, I've designed uh, complex mechanical things with uh, children's toys, with, uh, with bits of lumber and foam core and things like that. And you can work with some really complicated designs. You just experiment, lay it out and work with it. It's amazing what you can do. Again, that's not something that a, a computer does for you, uh, recognizing there's a lot of modeling systems that do, uh, do that sort of uh, kinetic analysis. but uh, uh, model making lets you get a sense for it. Um, it's, uh, it's a good way to test the, the basic performance of something very quickly to see if you're in the right order of magnitude. Uh, models are also used in uh, religious traditions in a variety of ways from uh, the models left in the tombs for the, for the Egyptian pharaohs to uh, the Buddhist expression of uh, their faith through uh, sand art. Uh, it, models are used in educational applications uh, to show things, uh, often used in, in anatomy courses. And of course we think of them most famously maybe as props in movies and theater, where it's an object that doesn't have to do what the object should do, but it looks like it does. So you have uh, foam shields and, and, uh, and lightweight helmets and these kind of things. But model making uh, is, uh, in the hobby form, is uh, very interesting too, because you see things come to life and it's amazing what you can do with model making skills, what you can create. You can create some really beautiful things and uh, it, it has this uh, wonderful connection between the eye and the hand that uh, needs to be expressed. It's a form of sculpture. It can be a form of art. In fact, you can ask where does that, where does model making work in art? And, the, and well, get the definitions that art can't be useful and, and these kind of things, but uh, there, there is sort of this uh, art, artisanal quality to model making that is, uh, is very appealing.